emergency huh? extraordinary general meeting sorry um, can we please rise for the national anthem Gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to this extraordinary general meeting of Fidelity Bank PLC. I hereby call on Pastor Alex Adio to please lead us in an opening prayer. Pastor Adio, please. Pastor, do you think you are standing? I think you are standing. 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 Lord, we thank you for this day. We pray, Lord, that you take absolute control of this meeting. The bank is bringing to you, oh Lord. And today, shareholders that have desire to take this community to a greater height. Lord, we pray that you give approval this morning in the name of Jesus. Authority approval. And at the end of the day, you thank you. Amen. 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 It's done. Amen. It's done. Amen. It's done. Amen. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pastor Adio. Um, I now call on the company secretary to confirm that we have a quorum. Good morning, esteemed shareholders, and welcome once again. I have confirmed from the registrars, First Registrars and Investor Services Limited, that they received a total of 182 valid proxy forms for this extraordinary general meeting. The proxy firms and shareholders in virtual attendance at today's meeting jointly hold 11,450,659,730 shares, which represent 35.78% of the company's paid up share capital. Consequently, I hereby confirm to the chairman that the quorum has been formed. Thank you, Secretary. Before we proceed to the order of the business of the day, kindly permit me to draw your attention to the provisions of Section 11 of the Business Facilitation Act, BFA 2022, which amended Section 242 of the Companies and Allied Matters Act 2020 to enable public companies hold their general meetings electronically. Accordingly, this extraordinary general meeting is being held electronically in accordance with the law. I am pleased to inform you that the proceedings are being live streamed. All shareholders and stakeholders follow the meeting from their respective locations. Your bank is a responsible corporate citizen and concerned with the well-being of everyone attending this virtual meeting. 
We are aware that you are joining this meeting from different parts of the world and enjoin you to review your surroundings and note, of, and note and take note of the emergency exits and safety protocols at your location. Please note that all directors of your companies are present at this virtual meeting and are participating in these proceedings from various locations. I have the director's proxies and will now introduce the board of directors and the company secretary. Please note that their pictures will be displayed on the screen as they are introduced. First, Mustafa Chike will be chairman board of directors. I'm sure they can now see me. Next, Mrs. Neka Onyali Ikwe. Managing Director, CEO, Fidelity Bank. You can see. Next, Mr. Chidi Agbapo, non-executive director. Where's his picture? Okay. Next, Alhaji Isa Inua, independent non-executive director. Engineer Henry O.B., Independent Non-Executive Director. Mrs. Amaka Omugalo, Non-Executive Director. Chief Nelson C. Nweke, Non-Executive Director. Mr. Chinyo Duokeke, Non-Executive Director. Mrs. Runke Bameke, Independent Non-Executive Director. Mr. Hassan Imam, Executive, North, Executive Director, North Directorate. Mr. Kevin Ugwoke, Executive Director and Chief Risk Officer. Dr. Ken Opara, Executive Director, Lagos and Southwest Directorate. Mr. Stanley Amuchie, Executive Director, Chief Operations and Information Officer. Mrs. Pamela Shurikbo, Executive Director, South Directorate. And last but not the least, Mrs. Ezinwa Unyu Boje, Company Secretary. I would also like to acknowledge the attendance of the representatives of our regulators who are joining this meeting virtually. Central Bank of Nigeria, represented by Mr. Olateju Urimoloye. Nigerian Exchange Group, represented by Ms. Dorothy Agidi. I hope I got that right. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, represented by Mr. Maikaji S. Sani. And finally, Nigerian Deposit Insurance Corporation, NDIC, represented by Mr. Abbas Aliyu Abbas. I would also like to recognize the representatives of our external auditors, Deloitte and Touche, represented by Mrs. Yetunde Odetayo and Mr. Olabowale Anyoleye. Our registrars, First Registrars and Investor Service Limited, represented by Mr. Yaya Lawal. Having completed the preliminary matters, we will now proceed to the formal business of the day by calling on the company secretary to read the notice of the meeting. Thank you, Chairman. Notice of Extraordinary General Meeting. Notice is hereby given that an extraordinary general meeting of members of Fidelity Bank PLC will hold virtually at 10 a.m. on Friday, August 11, 2023, to transact the following business, special business, to consider and if thought fit, pass the following as ordinary resolutions. One, that the issued share capital of the company, currently 16 billion, made up of 32 billion ordinary shares of 50 couple each, be increased up to 22.6 billion by the 22.6 billion naira by the creation of up to 13.2 billion additional ordinary shares of 50 couple each two that the company undertakes a capital raising exercise via a public offer for up to 10 billion ordinary shares and rights issue of up to 3.2 billion ordinary shares representing one new share for every 10 shares held to new and existing shareholders respectively. Three, that the board of directors of the company 
BN is hereby authorized to allot the shares issued in accordance with resolution two above, which shall rank pari parcel with the company's existing issued shares, subject to the receipt of relevant regulatory approvals. Four, that the Board of Directors be and is hereby authorized to perform all such lawful acts that are necessary to give effect to the above listed resolutions, including but not limited to ensuring compliance with all regulatory procedures and requirements, obtaining all required approvals, and filing within time all regulatory returns in relation to the above resolutions. To consider and if thought fit, pass the following as a special resolution that the memorandum and articles of association of the company be amended to reflect the company's new share capital after the capital raising exercise in resolution two above, and that the board of directors be and is hereby authorized to file the amended memat at the Corporate Affairs Commission dated the 19th day of July, 2023, by order of the board. Thank you. Thank you, Ezinwa. Thank you, shareholders. I will now provide some background and context to the resolutions to be proposed for your approval at today's meeting. Please recall that at the last extraordinary general meeting on September 29, 2022, we received the approval of the shareholders for the company's outstanding $3 billion, Three billion thirty seven million four hundred and fourteen thousand three hundred and eight shares, unissued ordinary shares of fifty copper each. So the number is three oh three seven four one four three zero eight, unissued ordinary shares of fifty copper each, to be disposed by way of private placement to strategic investors to enable the company generate additional capital for continued growth in line with its objectives. Consequently, the private placement of 3037414308 shares was successfully concluded and the shares have been listed on the trading floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange Group, NGX. However, your bank continues to be on a strong growth trajectory and requires additional capital for growth in profitability, domestic and international expansion and enhancement of its digital capabilities. Continuing advances in technology, the rapid evolution of the business of banking, and changes in the operation landscape make it imperative that the bank remains agile, adaptable, and properly positioned to respond appropriately to developments while remaining a competitive and forward-looking institution. In terms of our financial performance, we are beginning to see the results of uncompromising commitment to the disciplined execution of our strategy and recorded double-digit growth on all major indices in 2022. Indeed, our performance in 2022 marked a significant milestone in the history of your company, because for the first time in 35 years of operation, we crossed the 50 billion naira mark in pre-tax profits. The resolutions provided for approval at this meeting are aimed at ensuring that your company can take advantage of emerging business opportunities and secure long-term profitability and competitive advantage while, increasing, while ensuring increased shareholder value. Consequently, the board requires your approval to enable it to undertake a capital raising exercise by way of public offer for 10 billion ordinary shares and rights issues for 3.2 billion shares. We count on the continued support of our esteemed highly shareholders to achieve our objectives. We will now take your questions and comments on the resolutions proposed for approval at this extraordinary general meeting. Please type your comments in the question box or use the raised hand icon. To ensure the session is orderly, I will invite shareholders to make their comments in turn. The media team will unmute shareholders who are recognized by the chairman. Kindly state your name for the record when called to make your comments. Please keep your comments brief and if possible, avoid repetition, so other shareholders can have opportunities to ask questions. So, may I start with Sir Sami Wosu? Mr. Wosu, you are muted.
Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Please, please Good morning, go ahead. Mr. Chairman. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. Good morning, Sawosu. Please go ahead. We can, please go ahead, Mr. Wilson. You are muted. Please unmute and go ahead, Mr. Wilson. Mr. Chairman, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Please go ahead. Yeah. My name is Sir Sonny Wilson. I want to thank you for this great opportunity of having this extraordinary general meeting to discuss the future of our bank. Today, it is very clear to everybody that the capital base that all the banks are carrying will not be tenable any longer because Basel III is also coming up. The central bank is just waiting to see how far other banks will fare. Uh, it is a necessary issue that uh, good right-thinking board of directors must think fast. in the right and the public offering because that would have pained us a lot if we were not given the opportunity to partake. You will recall that when the issue of private placement took place, we all kick at the meeting that we want to be part of the, the, the part, uh, participation of uh, the, uh, uh, the private placement. But unfortunately, because of the volume involved, we were, not, we were excluded. But today, we're having the opportunity to partake in both the right and the public offering. So I am appealing to my fellow shareholders that we should not miss the opportunity of increasing our holding in Fidelity, because Fidelity happened to be one of the banks that has a future for shareholders, more so that the board is a listening board. So we appreciate this, and we we'll endeavor to encourage our colleagues to take the shares. But then I want to find out, if we are going to have uh, under subscription in some of these aspects, because the volume is big, what happens? Are we going to have uh, an opportunity to partake in the uh, volume left? It is very, very important. I do not have to stress this issue for too long because I know that you have done the right thing, but you must continue to also have the feel of the shareholders in your mind about how we are going to manage to ensure that we are not going to have under subscription and that we will encourage the shareholders to take as much shares as they know that they can manage in this scheme of things. We do not want a dilution that will affect, we have come a long way with the bank and therefore we must be given opportunity to take every opportunity that comes from this offer. Uh, I want to appreciate the board and management because I believe this is purely what they call good thinking, good products that you have done for us. And I want you to remember that once the capital base is bloated, a lot of job is needed to be able to service the shares. We must not go back to penny penny share uh, uh, dividend again. Because we are now talking about 22 billion shares. And that then means that a lot of job must be put in by the management the onus is on the management, not even on the board, so that our dividend will not go lower, or we will not regret that when we are having this, we are getting a good dividend. So we want to continue to ensure that our dividend is very cheerful and enjoyable. So I give kudos to the management that they must think, put in a thinking cap and see. I recall that one of us, one of us, especially Dr. Farouk, have been talking about this bus three that definitely we are going to increase capital, and that has come to be. So we must make sure that uh, shareholders benefit despite the bloated capital base 
from this offer. On that note, I want to wish you well and pray that the Almighty God will endow the whole of the board with wisdom and knowledge as to how to continue to please the shareholders. Most of us are retirees, and this is what we depend on. And therefore, we will not expect anything less than a good result and a good dividend from you. By the way, we were expecting that we are going to enjoy an interim dividend, which never came. And I think, Mr. Chairman, you must do everything to make sure that that track remains faithful. The interim dividend issue remains faithful throughout uh, this period. So please do see what you can do to ensure that you bring back that on track so that more as we are appreciating the interim dividend that you introduced, we'll continue to enjoy the interim dividend. The major thing is to make sure that the shareholders are happy with you. We are giving you approval for this request because we are happy with you. And that happiness must not be allowed to vanish. I want to thank you again for giving me the opportunity to speak at this AGM. Thank you and God bless all of us, including the shareholders. Thank you very much, Sam Wusu. Um, let me, before I call out the next person, let me comment on the interim dividend issue. Um, uh, we are currently doing a half yearly audit, which should be concluded in the next week or so. Until that audit is concluded and until we have sent the auditor re returns to CBN, we cannot talk about dividends. Um, so it's not that we're not give, doing it, it's just that the time hasn't come yet. But I'm fairly certain that there'll be um, interim dividends this year. It's just the process is ongoing. Can we please have Mr. Uh, Ms. Chief Boniface Okezie uh, make, a make a few comments? Chief Okezie. Hey. Yeah, good morning, Chairman, and the Board of Directors. Good morning, and sir. Distinguished, and fellow distinguished shareholder. Uh, Chairman, it's a good to be in this meeting today because the bank has been proactive, and I thank God for your leadership that you have brought to bear upon this bank. And the Amazon, our group GMD, and other executive directors and management for the proactiveness you have taken today to have this EGM, to give approval for you to come to the capital market to raise it. Right issue and public offering. It's a good one because of the valuation in Naira today. We cannot afford to leave behind. Uh, fidelity, we keep the award. So you have to take the lead because the bank has showcased strongness in every sector of the economy. Uh, because we need more money to open more branches. It's unfortunate you go to southeast, some of the area that need to catchment area. A place like Mbise, my, Mbise, as a big as it is, have no bank. No bank And my local government is a language, north and south. A first one bank.
Thank you very much for your kind words. Um, before I go to the next person, um, we have um, one of our independent directors, uh, Alhaji uh, Inua, Isa Inua, who is here with us. He, I'll, I'll have make, make a few, say a few things in response to Mr. Mosu's issue regarding oversubscription. And then Jerry, he's, he's, he's heading a committee that's leading this capital raise. And so make a few comments on the capital raise, exactly. Uh, Alhaji. It's working now. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Chief Mwosu, uh, good to hear from you again today. Um, let me just comment on the issue that you raised about, um, I think, standby um, arrangement, whether firm, you know, underwriting, sorry, underwriting, whether firm or standby. I think uh, Chief, Chief Boniface Ukezi already has already answered it, but let me put it this way. If you notice, the resolutions to be passed at this meeting today, quite unlike with other banks, does not contain the requirement for approval uh, to the directors to underwrite the issue either on standby or firm basis. It was deliberate, um, and it was based on two considerations. The first one is, of course, we believe in the faithfulness of our existing shareholders. And as confirmed by Chief Mwosu and Chief Okezie, um, we, are, we do expect that they would continue to invest in Fidelity Bank, not, not just take up their rights, but also uh, invest in the public offer. Now, but the second consideration, which is as important, is the fact that our fundamentals are very, very strong. And over the last three, four, five years, I think Fidelity has demonstrated capability, not just for growth, but also for creating sustainable value. So today, our fundamentals are strong. We are on the right trajectory in terms of growth, in terms of value creation. And what is going to happen is that with the recapitalization, we'll be in a better state, actually, to not just grow, but also to ensure that we invest and we develop our competitive capabilities and we'll continue to create value, not just on a sustainable basis, but also on an increasing basis. Thank you, Mr. Samwosu. I hope uh, that satisfies, um, I mean, that, that answers your comment or question. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Alhaji. Um, let me just say that on the matter of SEC, um, we are waiting for approval from this EGM, where I can tell you management is primed to move very, very fast on this um, issue. We would like to be the first. Um, anything within our power to be the first, we will do. Uh, we are ready. We are already ready. We are ready with, once we get the approval, we cannot move without the approval. We will, you will see us move very, very fast. So um, we will not slow down. And um, I think that you will see that SEC will not be a problem. May I please call on Mrs. B.C. Bakare to make a few comments.
uh, uh, capital. Uh, of course, I will, I will, I, I'm not surprised because Fidelity Bank now, the way we are growing uh, is something that uh, for me as an investor and as a shareholder of our bank, I'm very happy with the, uh, all our performance. But what I just want to say about this, uh, I want the, uh, uh, the registrar, I want the board to monitor the registrar. Of course, we have the first bank, no doubt. First, first registrar is, first, uh, is the best registrar. They are among the best registrar in this country. But I want us to man, uh, monitor them in making sure that uh, all shareholders, they receive all their rights circular. All shareholders, irrespective of where they are coming from or where the address is. Because what we noticed uh, before is that uh, some of this rice circular is that uh, it's after the uh, closure of the, uh, the, uh, the offer that we normally receive the circular, especially those in rural uh, areas. So I want the uh, first registrar to buckle up in making sure that they sell circular to all shareholders so that we can all enjoy uh, our rights. In addition to that, Mr. Chairman, I want to appeal to, to this board because I believe we are listening board. I want to appeal to us that uh, we should make sure that uh, the price, the price of the rights should also be right. Not a situation of a right issue, but the price too should also right. We should remember the uh, shareholders that have stayed with us for many years. So uh, I want the rights to be, uh, to be the price to also be right. Uh, lastly, uh, I want to uh, encourage our bank also or the management and board that immediately after approval today, that uh, we start rolling the offer. Not that we we'll now wait for another two, three months before coming out, because many banks are coming out. And the first one is the one we are going to uh, get first, uh, uh, until, uh, so that uh, we will now have many that will now be sharing money. If we can use this opportunity that we are the first one coming out to roll the uh, circular immediately so that we can get our right offer. Uh, again, uh, I think some also have talked about that so that I won't repeat to anybody. Once again, thank you very much for the opportunity given to me, sir. Thank you, Ma, for your kind words. Um, we appreciate your support and we'll make sure we don't let you down. May I call on mm -hmm. Chief Olatunde Okilana to make a few comments, please? Uh, Good morning, my esteemed board of directors, shareholders online, and distinguished staff of Fidelity Bank. I am Sao Latunde Okelana, Balogun Olugun of Orile Iban in Oyo State. Hey, my chairman, I want to congratulate you for this fantastic step. You, you, you took the step at the right time. And I want to share with well, all the sentiments Expressed by especially by Ungos to OKZ and Mrs. Bakari. I want to tell you that we are giving you the support because you the board is a listening board. Let me start from the MD. The MD of this bank is a great lady that always equates to men. He's a, he's a, when you say men, she, she's more than one man. Because she's a lady, but she's more than one man. She's very hardworking, very articulate and accessible. And she said, Ineka is somebody that when you have a business to do with Fidelity Bank that will progress the bank, she will give you an opportunity to prove your words. So I want to thank her for that. My chairman, I want to tell you that the, this offer you want to give to us, we will give you undress support. Me, I will give you my strong royal support. But bear in mind, number one, the share price is important. Timing of this year is important. Immediately you get approval. Don't allow it to come closer to the yearly tide. 
Though presently some of us are paying school fees, both Nigeria and abroad, we are paying school fees. But in the less one month, if we are able to hit the market, this will assist us. My chairman, I want to advise again, don't rely on my post. Because whatever money you spend on making sure the minority shareholders get their right circular, it's not a waste because they will key in. And what's the key in is the best for the bank. So what you will do, let's assume the people in the north, you want to post their circular to them. Make sure it's the, don't dump it in one post office in Lagos. It might not, it will be there for another three, four, five months. The one for, we have six geopolitical zones in Nigeria. The best way you can disable the right issue is to do it through geopolitical zone. Like the one for Southwest. Don't just drop everything in Ibadan. You have office, in a Akure, let them distribute through that way. You have office in Elorin, let them distribute that way. The one for Abuja, let them distribute. You have office in Kano, you have in Enugu, you have in all the seven zones, because it's seven zones, not just six, seven zones. Then they will assist the bank so that this right circular will get to the people. And like Mrs. Bakari said, which I am not trying to repeat, but just an emphasis, the price of right is to should be different than the public offer. In my family alone, we have about 10. And I still have some that have not got, they will, they will be able to buy from the public offer. But the right, we will take our right greedily because of the interest, because of the confidence we have in the management team led by Neka Onyali Ike. And of course, the board of directors are working very assiduously to move this bank forward. Just like Mrs. Bakare said again, you are the first to come out. You are the first to come out with the EGM telling us we want to increase our capital immediately, immediately, immediately. So I pray that the regulatory authority should do it on the basis of first come, first serve, so that you will get, you will get your approval on time and we will be able to go to the market and hit the market. And I want to tell you that you have one of the best human resources you can think of. I've always said it many times, especially when Tolu Peters was the, was, was, was the HR of FSB that came to Fidelity. That has increased the weight of the staff of Fidelity. And I'm very sure things will continue to be better. But do us one favor. Always improve on your staff welfare. That is only where the Jackpa syndrome will not affect Fidelity Bank more than any other bank. It's an economy we are running. And the challenges in this country, as, as of this year, momentarily, is more than that of last year. So when you are thinking of prices, think of a friendly prices that will assist you to be oversubscribed. Oversubscription is the best for us than, than under subscription. If it's not well subscribed to, what happened in Orlando the other day will also happen. Whereby shareholders, well, they give them back their money because it was not or not. So my board of directors, I want to tell you that the shareholders of this country, the so-called minority, will give you their support so that we'll be able to achieve your aim and move the bank to another stage. And by the grace of God Almighty, God will provide money for the minority shareholders because majority of us already have their money. They, are, have, they have their money. So by the grace of God, God will provide money for us as minority so that we'll be able to take off our rights and probably buy from the, from the public offer too and make sure we encourage all our wives, family, and friends. Because in fidelity, we always keep our wives. So I want to thank you for giving me an opportunity and I want to tell Ineka, please continue the way you are going. You are a role model among the women chief executive officers in the industry. Not necessarily in the industry, in all the positions in Nigeria. You are one of the leaders among the women, if not the best, because of our closeness to you. You have a listening here. Continue to assist your shareholders, those who are doing business. Do business with them so that they will have more empowerment to be able to still invest some of the money in your share. God will bless all the mind God shareholder. God will give the board the strength and opportunity to continue to steer the affairs of this country, of this bank forward. Thank you for giving me an opportunity and have a very good day. God bless you all. Thank you very much, sir.
Thank you, um, Chief. Um, Royal, we love your Royal endorsement. Um, before I go to the next person, um, there seems to be some interest in the timing of this public offer slash right offer. So I'll please crave the indulgence of Al Haji to briefly explain the timetable so everybody knows what we are looking at and what we expect. Al Haji. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I think j just for information uh, and, of course, to create awareness, number one, as uh, rightly pointed out by some of the shareholders that have made comments, uh, today we have a clear market um, as far as public issue of shares is concerned you know, amongst the banks. We intend to maintain that advantage by getting into the market as soon as is possible. So that is comment number one. Comment number two, however, is um, it is important for us to understand that public issue of shares is a little bit of a complicated undertaking. There are four distinct steps. And the first one is the documentation and um, structure, or structure and documentation. Uh, at this stage, we are at um, a documentation stage. We have done the restructuring, uh, or structuring as it were. We have agreed the number of shares to issue and in what format. Um, the documentation, of course, is or includes all approvals and the preparation of prospectuses, vending agreements, and so on. And what we are doing today is part of the structuring and documentation phase, which is the first phase. The second phase, after all the documentation, is to go for regulatory approvals. Um, and this is where the action is, let me say, because we are dependent on certain externalities. Um, we have to get approvals of several bodies including the CBN, uh, the Nigerian Stock Exchange, um, uh, et cetera, and then SEC, of course. Uh, the next stage, which is the third one, is to the, is do the actual offer itself. In other words, go to the market um, with the prospectors, the number of shares, the price, um, methodologies or modalities for investment, documentation, and receiving banks, et cetera. So that is the third phase. The last phase is the allotment and listing. It is at that stage that we receive all the applicants or applications, allot them in accordance with an allotment guidelines or allotment guidelines that would have been approved by the board long before um, the allotment and listing. And then after the allotment, we get again additional approvals and then we list those shares um, on the stock exchange. Now, uh, it is very difficult because of the external dependencies to say that, uh, to give definitive dates. However, uh, I, I will say that the board and, and management are bent not just on maintaining the clear market advantage that we have today, but also delivering on the, this offer and then collecting the proceeds and allotting shares and listing those shares on the Nigerian Stock Exchange within the shortest possible time. Uh, I think on that, shareholders can hold the board and management um, as a promise. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. Um, I will now call on Alhaji Farouk Umar to make a few comments. Okay, Mr. Chairman, uh, thank you very much. I'm glad that uh, Fidelity Bank uh, has uh, decided uh, to come to the market and uh, probably the first bank, like my colleagues uh, said. Uh, I assure you, um, you will get all the support from us I am a director of a bank, and I know the requirement, the need now for recapitalization. Sooner rather than later, CBN may come up uh, with um, recapitalization uh, requirement. And uh, like uh, Sasoni also, the, the, the valuation of the currency has made it necessary for banks to increase their um, capital. Um, but Mr. Chairman, I don't think you should go and use uh, proceeds in establishing banks. The uh, things have changed now. We have technology. We have internet banking. Uh, you don't need uh, branches uh, to be able to uh, make a profit. Uh, we shouldn't uh, go uh, out uh, establishing uh, branches. Everybody now from your phone, you can uh, make transactions. You should invest our money in technology. We have 
artificial intelligence now. We have Internet of Things. Things are, have changed. So we need to move with, with the trend to ensure that um, we are competitive. Uh, you require a lot of money to put the infrastructure into technology. Uh, we have seen what uh, Access Bank has done. So uh, we should uh, ensure that bulk of our proceeds uh, go into uh, areas that uh, require um, uh, areas that are now new and will give us uh, uh, more profitability. Um, regarding the uh, price, yes, Mr. Chairman, as a shareholder, I would like to the rice to be cheap. But again, we should also consider that uh, the, the bank requests money. Uh, look at our share price. Uh, because of your performance, the share price has gone up. So we shouldn't go and uh, be Father Christmas. Uh, we, we, we should uh, ensure that the price is right, commensurate with um, our uh, share price. Uh, as you see now, uh, foreigners are coming into the capital market. Incidentally, I am also a director of Nigerian uh, Exchange Limited. Uh, we have seen that uh, from the time this government came in to date, we have gotten a lot of money into the market. And I'm sure uh, the moment you finish the rice issue and the public offer, you will see that the price of the share will go up. More so, I'm expecting your half year to be much better than that of um, last year, because this is the trend we have seen from uh, First Bank, and I'm sure uh, the way I have seen the board of uh, Fidelity, uh, the, the, the full year results, the dividend that was paid, I am confident that uh, the half year uh, will make us um, uh, happy. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, also, I would like you to ensure you go around to at least some uh, cities in, in, in the country when you start the public offering. MTN came to Kano, they went to Abuja, Port Harcourt, Ibadan, and Lagos. So to, to sensitize uh, shareholders uh, and to ensure that um, they are aware and they, they have received uh, their documents for the uh, rice offer. Uh, in this way, uh, it will make us, um, the minority shareholders, happy to see that um, you have given as much publicity as possible. Uh, one of the speakers spoke about uh, the, the particular region. Fidelity is not a regional bank. Fidelity is a national bank. It, it is a bank that is um, uh, for all, the whole of the country. So don't limit um, your publicity to a particular zone. You should ensure that um, like we have seen on your board, I mean, the board is representative of uh, the, the country uh, as is required in corporate governance. Uh, you need to have a regional uh, uh, representation. Uh, I think, um, Mr. Chairman, uh, you will get our approval. And as a representative of shareholders on the exchange, I assure you that Fidelity will get the approval of the exchange uh, as um, the performance we have seen uh, is, is fantastic. On this note, um, I wish you a happy uh, offer. And uh, like my colleague said, we will ensure that um, we get our members to uh, subscribe to their rights and also pick uh, the public offer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Alhaji. You said some very, very wise things to us. Um, let me just assure you that it's neither one nor the other. There are places that do need branches, and there may be some branches that may need to be closed in view of technology. We will look at all of that. Um, while we're not ruling out opening new branches, we may be also open to reducing our total number of branches. So that's something for management to look at. And, um, but I assure you that whatever they look at it, it will come to the board. And um, you've opened yourself to my desire to consult you on a few more things. You seem to have a lot of knowledge about those things. So uh, we may be Thank consulting you informally uh, on a few Thank things. Thank you. 
the road show is, seems to be a good idea, and we will, we will, um, will, we will embrace that suggestion. But well, thank you for your suggestions, and um, you've been extremely helpful. We will, we will do a market survey. The price, we want a price that clears the market, but we don't want a price that's a giveaway. So that takes some work. That's what our financial advisors will do for us. But you can be assured that we want people that buy our shares to be happy, but we don't want to sell it too cheap uh, and deprive the bank of the capital we're seeking. Um, I'll take one more comment so that we can conclude this meeting. Um, with your indulgence, I'll have Pastor Alex Adio as our last speaker commentator before we go on to the business of the day. Pastor Adio, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, for this golden opportunity. I think all being said and done, what you are presenting to the shareholders, you are presenting to the shareholders today is clearly stated in that item number two. And I want to believe, like I've rightly mentioned, that we are going to stick to that. My only advice quickly uh, is to the registrar. And that is what is being done in almost all the uh, offers right now, that I should be proficient, whereby the registrar put an account, that whereby you cannot reach out to your stockbrokers, you can pay directly to them and take your offer. I sure and I trust God that it's going to be a success. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you very much. That was brief and sweet. Having taken your questions and comments, we will now proceed to vote on the resolution proposed for approval. Please note that a total of five resolutions are proposed for approval at this meeting. Resolutions one to four are ordinary resolutions for which a simple majority, i.e., 50.1% of the votes cast by shareholders present, present in person or by proxies required. While Resolution 5 is a special resolution for which a minimum of 75% of the votes are required. In accordance with provisions of Section 248.1A of the Kama 2020, I, as the chairman of this meeting, hereby call for a poll in respect of the five resolutions proposed for approval at this meeting. I am informed that some shareholders had earlier submitted proxy forms to the registrars indicating how they wish their votes to be cast on the resolutions being presented for consideration. The proxy votes received on each resolution have already been collated by the registrars and will be displayed on the screen and added to the votes to be cast on each resolution. The registrar shall conduct the voting and upon conclusion of voting on each resolution, display the result on the screen for all to see before proceeding to the next resolution. The representatives of our external auditors, Deloitte and Touche, shall act as scrutineers. I will now call on the registrars to explain the process for the electronic voting, which will also be displayed on the screen. Registrars. Esteemed shareholders, kindly watch and listen attentively to the instructions for voting on the resolutions to be considered at the general meeting. Please note that voting will be conducted via a USSD platform. Please dial the USSD code that will be displayed on the screen to access the voting platform and follow the prompts on your phone if you wish to vote on any resolution. The voting platform will remain open for 120 seconds for each resolution. Please cast your vote once the poll opens. If you encounter network connectivity issues, please try again. However, please note that votes can be submitted only once per shareholding account within the 120 seconds period. Kindly follow these steps to vote on the resolutions to be considered at this meeting. Step 1. Dial star 8011 star 55 hash. Step 2. Press 0 to verify phone number. Step 3. Press 1 to vote on this resolution. Step 4. Press 1 to indicate voting with all units. Step 5. Press 1 to vote for or 2 to vote against the resolution.
Step 6. Select Send to exit. Please note that the guidelines will continue to be displayed on the screen for your convenience. To ensure that shareholders are familiar with the voting process, I will request the media team to repeat the presentation for the benefit of all. Please repeat the presentation. Good morning, esteemed shareholders. Kindly watch and listen attentively to the instructions for voting on the resolutions to be considered at the general meeting. Please note that voting will be conducted via a USSD platform. Please dial the USSD code that will be displayed on the screen to access the voting platform and follow the prompts on your phone if you wish to vote on any resolution. The voting platform will remain open for 120 seconds for each resolution. Please cast your vote once the poll opens. If you encounter network connectivity issues, please try again. However, please note that votes can be submitted only once per shareholding account within the 120 seconds period. Kindly follow these steps to vote on the resolutions to be considered at this meeting. Step 1. Dial star 8011 star 55 hash. Step 2. Press 0 to verify phone number. Step 3. Press 1 to vote on this resolution. Step 4. Press 1 to indicate voting with all units. Step 5. Press 1 to vote for or 2 to vote against the resolution. Step 6. Select Send to exit. Please note that the guidelines will continue to be displayed on the screen for your convenience. We will now proceed to vote on each resolution. Resolution 1. Where's the resolution? Okay. Okay. Resolution 1. I hereby call on a shareholder to move the resolution that the issued share capital of the company, currently 16 billion naira, made up of 32 billion ordinary shares of 50 cover each, be increased up to 22.6 billion 600 million naira by the creation of up to 13.2 billion shares, ordinary shares of 50 copper each. Who moves? Who moves? Who moves? My name is Mrs. Bakari Adebisi Oluwaye Missy. I so move. Who seconds, please? I second, Sao Latunde Okelana, Balogon Lupo for the advice. Second, that most of please. Thank you. I will now put resolution to the meeting by calling on you to vote on the resolution. Please note that you have two minutes, 120 seconds to cast your votes. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Please open the poll. The poll has opened, we can commence the voting. One hundred and one seconds left, 99 seconds left. Four seconds, 82, still counting down.
56, second level 54. Thirty four second left, thirty three. Twenty four second. Still counting land. Ten seconds left. Pole is about to be closed. Pole closed. At the end of the voting on this resolution, which is to increase the share capital of Fidelity Bank Nigeria PSC, to increase it to 22.6 billion naira by creating 13.2 billion additional shares, we have a shareholder voting through proxies and online with the total shares of 11 billion 334 million 973,160 units. This represents 98.98 percent .98 of the total forecast. Why we have shareholders voting through proxies and online with the total shares of 116,733. 116,733,943 units, which represent 1.02%. Thank you. I hereby declare Resolution 1 carried. Resolution 2. I hereby call on a shareholder to move the following resolution. That the company undertakes a capital raising exercise via public offer of up to 10 billion ordinary shares and rights issue of up to 3.2 billion ordinary shares, representing one new share for every 10 shares held to, existing, to new and existing shareholders, respectively. Will a shareholder please sir, move? Sir, Sonny so I move that resolution. Thank you. Thank will a shareholder second, please? I do second. My name is Dr. Farouk Omar. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I will now put the resolution to a meeting by calling on you to vote on resolution. Please note that you have 120 seconds again to cast your votes. Thank you. Please say resolution two, please. The resolution two is to undertake a public offer and right issue of 10 billion and 3.2 billion shares. Please open the poll. The poll has been opened. One second left. The three second length still counting down. Twenty seconds remaining. 
19 seconds, 17 seconds. What is about to be closed? Poll closed. At the end of the voting on this resolution, we have shareholders voting through proxy and online with the total shares of 11 billion, 265 million, 42,666 units, which represent 98.37 percent of the total vote cards. Why we have shareholders voting through online and by proxy with the total shares of 186 million. 683,943 units, representing 1.63%. Thank you. Thank you, Registrar. I hereby declare Resolution 2 carried. Resolution 3, to authorize the board to allot shares in accordance with Resolution 2. I hereby call on a shareholder to move the resolution, please. I bring I do. I support. I support the motion. Um, I'm told I have to read the resolution out in full. So ex uh, excuse me. So while I read this, the resolution reads in full that the board of directors of the company B and is hereby authorized to allot the shares issued in accordance with resolution two above which shall rank pari passu with the company's existing issued shares, subject to the receipt of relevant regulatory approvals. So can I have a mover again, please? Who moves, please? Sir, move. My name is Enifola Nikapao. Thank you very much. And who seconds? I, 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 I do second, Mr. Chairman, Dr. Farouk Umar. Thank you very much, sir. I will now put resolution to the meeting by calling on you to vote on this resolution. Please note again that you have 120 seconds to cast your votes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Please display resolution three. The resolution three is to authorize the board to allow shares in accordance with resolution two. Please open the poll. Nine seconds left, eighty eight seconds. Voting is still all going. Second left, thirty two seconds left. Still counting down. is about to close. Poll closed. At the end of the voting on this resolution, we have shareholders voting through proxy and online with the total shares of 11 billion, 
265,000,000, 31,660 units, representing 98.37% of the total vote cast. While we have shared our voting through proxy, having a total shares of 186,683,943 units, representing 1.63% of the total vote cast. Thank you. I hereby declare Resolution 3 carried. Resolution 4, that the Board of Directors be and is hereby authorized to perform all such lawful acts that are necessary to give effect to the above listed resolutions, including but not limited to ensuring, ensuring compliance with all regulatory procedures and requirements, obtaining all required approvals, and filing within time all regulatory returns in relation to the above resolutions. I call on the shareholder to please move the resolu resolution. Tundi, but most to the I, by uh, uh, I by bring most. I do but support most. Tundi. Okay. Thank you. I will now put this resolution to the meeting by calling on you to vote on the resolution. Please note Again, that you have 120 seconds to cast your votes. Thank you. Registrar. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The vote is about to commence. The resolution is to authorize the board to perform lawful acts to execute resolution 103. Please open the poll. Poll has commenced. seconds left. Twenty one seconds left. Seventeen seconds, sixteen seconds. Still counting down. Poll closed. At the end of the voting on this resolution. We have shareholders voting through proxy and online with a total shares of 11,335,031,803 units, which represents 98.98% of the total vote cast. While we have shareholders voting against, voting through proxy, having a total shares of 116,683,943 units which represents 1.02% of the total vote cast. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Registrar. I hereby declare resolution carried. Finally, the last resolution, number five. This is a special resolution, and it requires 75% or more to be carried. Um, the resolution is that the Memorandum and Articles of Association, MEMAT, of the company 
be amended to reflect the company's new share capital after the capital raising exercise in resolution two above. And that the Board of Directors B and is hereby authorized to file the amended memat at the Corporate Affairs Commission. I now call on the shareholder to please move this final resolution. Today, I hereby second that motion. No, you, you are, are moving. moving. You are moving. You are uh, moving. Uh, I must move the motion. I move the motion. Uh, uh, by the oh. Do you have it? Thank you very much. I will now put the resolution to the meeting, by calling on you to vote on the resolution. You still have 120 seconds to cast your vote. Thank you, Registrar. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The poll is about to open. Yeah. The last resolution, which is to amend the memo to reflect the company's new share capital. Please open the poll. Voting has commenced. Seven seconds left. Five seconds left. See, counting down. seconds left. The poll is about to be closed. Poll closed. At the end of the voting on this resolution, we have shared that voting for by proxy and through online with the total shares of 11 billion 265 million 31,813 units, which represents 98.37 percent of the total vote cast. Why we have shared that voting against through proxy is the total shares of 186,683,943 units. This represents 1.63%. Thank you. Thank you. Finally, um, I declare resolution carried. Resolution 5. Thank you for your attendance. Before I make my closing remarks, I will call upon the MD, R, and your Amazon to make a few comments. Thank you. Um, thank you very much and good morning once again. Um, on behalf of the management and board of, um, board of directors of Fidelity, I want to thank you all for making out time to um, my esteemed uh, shareholders to attend this uh, extraordinary general meeting. We know how busy our schedules are. And um, just want to assure you that um, we, management and the board, will continue to drive the business. We'll continue to ensure that we're growing the business and that we'll add value to you. We, um, we have noted all the encouragement and the kind words, and we will not let you down. 
So I uh, would like to also let you know that um, Alaji has spoken on how quickly we want to do this. He's the head, the uh, chairman of the committee on um, fundraising, and uh, we have committed to the fact that we will we'll ensure that we we'll close this uh, PO very quickly. And um, I also remember that the comment that was made on technology. We're in the 21st century, so definitely we will use all the technology platforms that are available to ensure efficiency and speed in this exercise. So thank you very much once again for coming, and we really appreciate your support and prayers. Thank you. Thank you, MD. Um, I'm glad we are one big happy family because we're all working to the same goal. We are working, we're listening to the same music, which is to grow the bank, create value for the shareholders, and uh, as long as we all keep doing that and listening to that music, I think we'll do very well. Um, we're not a happy family because we necessarily know or like each other, but we are and we'll continue to be as long as everybody keeps their eye on the goal, which is to make fidelity, like I said to the examiners, the bank in Africa. We have a long way to go, but that's our goal, and we'll do our best to get there. Dear esteemed shareholders, we have now concluded this business for which this extraordinary general meeting was convened. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I thank you all for your attendance and robust participation at this meeting. Please stay safe as you depart from your respective locations. I now will humbly call on Alhaji Kabiru Tambari to lead us in a closing prayer before we take the national anthem. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Yes. yes please. My name is Kabiru Tambari from Sokoto. Before I do the closing prayer, I have advice and comment to the management and the board. One, if you want to do the right, uh, the IPO, I want you to come to Sokoto because Sokoto comprise Sokoto, Kirby, and Zampara State. And I know your branch is doing well in Sokoto. I see how the customers are patronizing the bank. It sure like its fidelity is from the North, Northern region. Secondly, I want to advise also the management and the board. If you want to do the right issue, the right circular, you should take it to your respective branches so that you can dispatch it there. Like Sokoto, for example, you take it to Sokoto shareholders on the Sokoto branch, then the Sokoto branch can take it to the Sokoto General Post Office. I believe one to two days, they will distribute it to the respective addresses. That is my advice to you. And lastly, I won't pray without commenting our MD. I always call her what man can do, woman can do more. I really appreciate the way she is doing her job. Our shares is gambling last year at two nera up to three nera, but now our share as at July, it reached as nine nera plus. So I really commend her, and I see how our Sokoto branches are doing well, excellent. So I pray this IPO and right issue will succeed in the name of God. Let us pray. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Maliki Yawmiddin, Iya Kana Abudu Iya Kana Sta'in, إهدنا السراد المستقيم سراد الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغلوب عليهم ولا الدالين آمين. Thank you. Man, thank you. Um, we will now take the national anthem. Please stand wherever you are.